Hello guys and gals, you may have watched one or more of my 10 words or less parodies, and seeing how these are the most popular ones in the category, it may have been my video on the first and or second season of the DuckTales reboot. As you can see, it's the latter that became more popular, though at a small cost. Yeah, guessing since this is one of my most disliked videos on my channel, whether you're looking at the number of likes or not, some of you weren't happy. Why did I get a high number of dislikes, for my standards, on this video? Because I had some of my most controversial opinions ever, mainly my picks for the worst episodes in the season, especially the one I chose for the third worst, and got a variety of comments. So I thought I should show your comments here and verbally respond to them. Now let's go on an adventure that'll tell a tale of a lifetime. Hey, I'm Owen, the fiction fanboy, and this is me responding to comments on my DuckTales Reboot Season 2, 10 Words or Less video. First, we have a comment from Sorcerer SMC, one of the most popular viewers of my channel. He gave me a simple, well done, which is always well appreciated for me. Enough said about that one, so let's look at his other comments. He said that the only thing he liked in The Duck Knight Returns was the ending. Drake being the all-real, all-new Darkwing Duck, Launchpad being a sidekick, and the birth of Negaduck. Those were the best parts of the episode in my opinion, and whether or not you liked the episode, there's a chance you liked that stuff too. Next up is Executive Nehemiah, who says that A Nightmare on Kill Motor Hill is his, her favorite episode. That and Friendship Hates Magic were on the third best side of the list in my video, and I put them together since they were connected. Though if I could only pick one, it'd be A Nightmare on Kill Motor Hill, with Friendship Hates Magic being the fourth best. Both good candidates for best episode in the season, whether one is better than the other or not. And here we have someone who has only commented on the DuckTales videos on my channel so far, Austin Nico. The premiere was disappointing, yet started Louie's side plot as the first season gave Dewey a side plot and predicted that Huey would get what his other siblings got in the third season. And I'll talk more about that later. After which, this YouTube viewer says that he, she really enjoyed The Duck Knight Returns, was willing to justify Launchpad not seeing Jim as evil, and kept track of the two Darkwings in the fight. However, the Scrooge and Dewey parts of the episode weren't as good as the Launchpad and the Darkwings parts, according to Austin Nico. I'll admit that I should have had a better look at the image of the Darkwings before publishing the video. Although I still didn't like Launchpad not noticing that what Jim planned on doing to Drake is bad. Lastly, he agreed with me on Moonvasion being the best episode in the season, and went as far as to say it's the best in the series with Lunars being a good villain, the extended Duck family being together, and the ending that gets us hyped for season 3. All in all, a good way to critique my video. Diana Sophia liked The Duck Knight Returns for portraying the obsession with making edgy reboots, and a lot of us can feel the same way. Edgy reboots can succeed, they can fail, or give us mixed feelings. While on the subject of that episode, Do Ray Art's Dreams Aspie seemed to be so surprised that I disliked it. I'm honestly surprised at myself too. I did want to like the episode, and despite my thoughts on it, I'd like to see what happens when Negaduck and Drake's Darkwing encounter each other. I'll be crossing my fingers that most of us will get the same amount of satisfaction on the next Darkwing centralized episode. Alright, Metal Sonic 420 is the main man coming to my channel. He here said that I've made another great 10 words or less video. Feedback from him has always been appreciated and has been number one at commenting on my content on my channel. Keep it up, dude, and I give another huge thanks for supporting me since 2018. Following Metal is Hilo Nalandra and claims the infernal internship of Mark Beeks 
as the weakest episode in the first season, and the depths of Cousin Feathery as the weakest episode in the second season. Those were both picks for my least favorite episodes in both DuckTales 10 or less videos I've made. Those episodes were nowhere near as good as multiple others, and there are reasons why. I'd like to bring up Mr. Gabinator at this time, for the purpose that this comment here says that any episode with Della is the best in his book, or her book, don't want to assume gender, and Mr. doesn't 100% guarantee the gender. Anyway, I liked almost every Della episode, so I can't really argue with that. Now things get a bit juicy with Glimmer3021 as whatever happened to Della Duck was his or her pick for the worst DuckTales episode overall. There are things here that can make people think that, but I don't feel the same way. You can tell that a lot of people replied to this one, and you can see what some of us thought about that. I don't want the argument to be too long though, for the sake of everyone who loved the episode, and to not make this video too long. We're not done with Climmer3021 by virtue of a top 10 favorite DuckTales Season 2 episodes list has been presented. Out of the 10 that are on the list, there are 7 that I liked or loved, while the other 3 are ones I disliked. On one hand, I am thinking about doing a top 10 DuckTales reboot episodes overall. In spite of that sounding like a cool idea, my list would be a bit too predictable for those who remember all the episodes on my best list in my 10 words or less videos. And even if the third season is the final, 9 out of 10 picks would already be known unless my mind changes. Just a possibility. And last, but certainly not least, we have Vevenico Torres, who thought my opinions were okay. And that's really nice of 124VevTor. I think that's the nickname of this user. I've decided to display the replies on this comment, since a congrats on my channel for hitting 200 subscribers was also given to me, and I can tell that someone saw my pinned comment. The DuckTales Season 2 video I'm talking about, the one where I got these comments from, released a few days before my 200 subscriber special, and it's surely sweet to acknowledge where my channel is currently at let alone on the first video of that person's channel that the person or people see. Major kudos to you, Vivanico Torres, 124VevTor. Well, those were all the published comments on the video, so I guess my work here is... Wait, you're forgetting one. Hmm. Mm. Heh, <laughs> this is new. Coming near the end of the video, Friction? You must be taking a break from appearing at the beginning of my videos. Yeah, it is. Anyway, I am serious about you not displaying one of the comments you received on the video. Are you? Am too. Remember on Thanksgiving 2019? Yeah, I did get a comment on my video that day. Yet I removed it because the person was really rude to me. And Thanksgiving is one of the worst times to be a jerk to people. Doesn't matter if it's on social media or in the real world. You just gotta be thankful and be nice on Thanksgiving. <sighs> I hate to tell you this, so I'll just have to show you. I need to borrow your phone and your computer for a bit. What? No! It... It can't be what I think it is. I thought I got rid of all the evidence. It seems that you haven't. Owen? Owen? Owen! Can you hear me? Hello?